We had a big storm come through, the big hurricane, and I'm checking on my forest nursery here. Uh, we did not get a chance to completely empty the trailer like we should have, and this is all wet, and we really need to get that taken care of. But what I'm gonna inspect here, look at this. Had some logs fall. Now what I do with these logs, I just set them down the side. By the way, I'm Justin Hit with Prosperity Homestead. This is probably the worst place to put a forest nursery because you can see the nuts, the acorns, are falling inside the nursery area and that's gonna cause deer to step in here and try to eat on stuff. And you can see that some of the plants have been pulled aside as they've been munched on. And I can see quite a few plants that have been grazed out the tops. That's okay, this is simply a forest nursery. Like I said in the past video, I had to salvage a lot of plants from my property that were shutting down uh, as we moved to this new project. And uh, all those plant stocks, we just saved what we could save and then we're composting the rest. But this is a little nursery area out here in the woods and there's a lot of acorn fall. So this is not the best place for a nursery. It's a great place for, um, for pigs or something to come through here. But as you can see, I've got my forestry trays to get those uh, planted out. And what we're going to end up doing is getting this thing completely un, un getting this thing emptied and then probably setting up the forest nursery on this side because there are fewer acorns or no acorns. There's still quite a few right down here. So here's a compost. This is where we're going to have uh, our humanure compost and other compost here in a non-turned system. Here's where we have plant starts. You can see those ferns are coming right along there. And we have a variety of things here. Of course, the deer are starting to pressure it a little bit. There's some ginger. Uh, and then some other, other plants. Um, butterfly bush. But what we've set up here, we found this push of dirt. It's just a small little nursery spot. And then we have our extra excess materials and supplies. And then we'll just kind of keep running this nursery into the woods here as long as there aren't any uh, acorns. And then uh, we'll start taking out some of the dead brush in the woods to use for firewood and start just kind of a level pad because see we have a little access road over there. So what's the lesson? The lesson is here you've got to find a place even before you get a house, even before you start living on the property to start nurserying out plants, to start your composting systems. If you're out here camping or, or I'm out here camping, I need a place to put my uh, organic waste so that it's, it's well taken care of and it's not gonna have creatures crawling through it. Um, when you have building materials and supplies, you don't want this at your homestead site. You want this in a pile somewhere it's out of the way. And because we're so close to the highway and we can hear that highway noise, this is the perfect spot to kind of just work out a big long rectangular niche in here to start nurserying up plants. We got a brush that's gonna get turned into charcoal. So I bring brush over here. Um, and this again, this is our resources. So if we're composting in here, you can see all these little plants that started up in this pile. If we're salvaging plants, there's a fern over here. And we're turning compost and we're got the old garden beds here and everything. This can be our junk area. This can be our working space. Um, we could bring firewood back here to process. Uh, but we want to keep this away from our main growing areas. It is not as desirable to look at, and it really is just the back lot type of thing. So again, I'm Justin Hitt with Prosperity Homestead. Be sure you're starting your nursery. Plants are not getting any cheaper. Get those, get those plants in pots and on the ground, and don't make the mistake I did. You want to get them in pots, but then get them in the ground as soon as possible. And we've got yucca, multiple types of berries here. We've got comfrey, got nitrogen fixing trees, more butterfly bush, just a variety of plants that are gonna help us. Oh, I noticed they ate the willows out down there. A variety of plants that are gonna help us jumpstart this site. Stay tuned, like and subscribe, ask your questions. I'd love to help you out with this kind of thing. Now is the time to become self-sufficient and food secure by at least working with local communities. I don't know if you've seen that tutorial, but work with local farms, work with your own property, and let's get an abundance growing. Again, thanks for watching.